I started writing probably around 94, uh, just doing marker tags. I had seen graffiti a lot growing up, but my most particularly, particular memory is riding the West Philly L and all the rooftops along the West Philly L um, were pieced. And I remember <coughs> asking my dad how they got up there, how they did that. My dad basically being like, don't worry about it, it's bad. <laughs> and uh, from there I was hooked, I guess. Uh, my name is Chris Nice, N-I-S-E Nice. Um, originally from outside of West Philadelphia, PA. Been writing for about 20 years, since 1994. I would say I am a fan, a lifetime fan of everything Philadelphia related. I'm kind of obsessed with this city. Um, I love it to death, um, but it's, it's a challenging city because it has a very insular graffiti scene. Philly has a, an oral folk art tradition, um, and by that I mean the graffiti that's done here is handed down uh, through like a mentor, mentee, or uh, almost like a union carpenter or something. You, you apprentice under an old head who teaches you, gives you hands, criticizes what you're doing wrong, what you're doing right. Um, and in that way, you learn the craft from the way it started in the 60s, early 70s with gang prints, to your standard hands, to all the evolutions from that, the wickeds and everything else you see. That whole process of learning it from an old head is very unique to Philadelphia. The, the, the concept of art, it's a wide open topic. Uh, you have some people that are obviously gonna say graffiti's not art. Some people who say it is, and then some people are gonna debate about all the different, you know, ways in which this is, this isn't, you know, piecing is or tagging isn't. Um, I, I like to believe that I have little kids, I tell them when they're drawing, pretty much whatever you Whatever you create that you feel motivated to create that means something to you is art to me. People are really threatened by the illegality and the destruction aspect of writing on property. But to me, that's all, that's, it's really just a red herring. It doesn't really affect evaluating whether the creation is art or not. So to me, writing on the side of a building or side of a truck isn't really make it not art, it just makes it art with consequences. Mainly at the end of the day, I do it because I love it. <clears throat> and I do it because I'm addicted to it too. I think there's a powerful addiction involved with it. Uh, compulsion to write your name over and over and to risk all jail and everything that's involved with it. That, that is something that uh, you have to come to terms with. Um, you have to be willing to risk something and it's part of what makes graffiti dope to me is that you see it on the wall, you know that that person took that risk, you know, that, you know that, that they've made the same uh, expenditure in terms of life risk that you do when you do it. <laughs>